Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sopo and I am human mom of Jamesy and Mia. So it is not a surprise for you that today's video is gonna be focused uh, on James C and Mia. If some of you don't know it, I have another Instagram channel which is dedicated to my cats, James C and Mia, which is a lot more successful than uh, my own one ever will be and I'm very very happy about that. Uh, cats are simply wonderful, wonderful creatures. They just bring joy and smile to everyone else. They bring sunshine into my life. They are the best thing one-handed what has happened to me after I met Falgo. I am very grateful to have them in my life. I would never be able to pay them back for the love that they give every day, for the joy that they bring into our lives and for making me the better human being that I've become, um, that I'm 100% sure of that they have contributed with their existence. Yeah. That just to put it out there. A few days ago I asked on the Instagram channel if they would want to list their questions that I could answer on YouTube and provide sort of a compilation of video clips that I could collect throughout those days to show you how they are in real life um, without any editing uh, and the pictures that are often just zoomed in um, and doesn't really portray other real looks of them often. So here you see them in a raw form um, and I'm very happy to give you this angle of James and Mia as well. So thankfully I've made the screenshots of all those questions on Instagram because um, it seems they are not available anymore for free access but I can see them um, through the screenshot. So let's get started. First and the most asked question that we get is how old they are and if they are siblings from the same parents. Um, they are three years old, they came from the same parents, same uh, catering from same uh, Lita. They were born on 14th of July 2017, um, so yeah, that makes them three years old. The next question that we get is what led us to getting cats? Also, if behaviorally how much have cats changed me and love Jamesy and Mia? So that's a very good question. When I moved to Germany in 2013, it never really occurred to me to go ahead and get pet. Um, I know a lot of people talk about like that it being a huge responsibility, the being all the time with you, it's a dedication for next almost 20 years, depending how long they will live. Um, but those were not the arguments why I never thought of it. It somehow was just a thought which was somewhere out there floating, probably, but never really came to me, it was never in a discussion. Um, that is surprising to me as well, because I grew up with pets. All over my childhood I always had a pet, be it a cat, two dogs, um, two fishes, a rabbit and a single duck. Um, there was even a period of time when we had all those animals together, so poor my parents were not very animal um, lovers, uh, they bore uh, all those responsibilities because I loved having them around um, but ever since I moved out of my hometown and moved to the capital of Georgia in Tbilisi it seemed somewhat unrealistic for me to keep pet in our two-room uh, flat and back then it was not that famous to have like cats and dogs in um, flat environment so it never really happened and then I moved to Germany um, and started to live here do my masters and just to cut it short um, there was a period of time when I um, felt emotionally challenged because living abroad uh, far away from my friends and family uh, became really struggling uh, for me emotionally and mentally. I didn't really realize that um, until I really started to physically make me feel sick. There was a period of time when I was chronically seeking of some diseases in myself um, until um, my muscle twitching started on my forearm uh, which never really stopped. It might sound funny for you um, and exaggerated but I could not sleep, I could not eat, I felt like I had some ball in my throat. I made a little research which is a mistake to <laughs> do and everyone can tell this what such twitching could mean and obviously all the 
horrible diseases came up at the top, multiple sclero sclerosis, um, ALS and um, whatnot. So as I was already in this vicious cycle of thinking that there was something wrong with me, I got stuck with it and uh, even after I um, visited numerous neurologists, did numerous tests, they could not convince me that there was nothing wrong with me and that's where it came into play that there was something just with me challenging uh, mentally. Um, so they said that this was sort of some um, light form of um, depression of me um, having like big focus on myself and seeking problems with myself so it stemmed from some dark place um, they did not really want to give me a lot of medications um, actually I did not really take any except one um, drops which I quitted after six months um, which actually helped very very a lot um, I remember that my neurologist um, coined the idea um, during one of the meetings um, when I was sitting there sobbing about my non-existent disease um, that if I ever considered to have a pet because um, having and particularly he meant cats because cats have such a soothing comforting um, nature um, they really calm um, their owners they are very empathetic creatures um, and it will help you to take your focus out of yourself and have this responsibility and caring over someone else which I obviously had a lot but I had no one to give to um, I am still struggling uh, this little bit uh, nowadays too I think having this YouTube channel and in this Instagram channels are uh, one vivid example of that I remember that back in Georgia having so many surrounding myself never really I never really had a time to um, spend so much time online but I feel like that I don't have anyone to share my things with but not, not to go into too much of a detail about that right now that just sparked the idea which we discussed then later on at home and we pretty quickly started the preparation of um, getting cats um, searching the good breeders and where they could come from which breed it could be which could fit our lifestyle etc etc how it has changed me um, I said this in the intro and I am 100% sure that I would not be able to put it in words the impact, the positive impact they have had um, on me. Um, I definitely, definitely feel mentally um, so much better ever since they are at mine. Um, never really had any negative thoughts again in the direction which I had the first two, three years of living in Germany and feeling really lonely. Um, I obviously still lack friendships uh, and human relations and social interactions which are really limited in my particular case in Germany um, but they are always there they are super empathetic uh, creatures they feel when I am on a bad mood they come to comfort me they come to console me um, they really really give an unconditional love and I think that it is even more than our own kids can give. Um, I don't have kids but um, I think when kids grow um, they become independent, um, they have their environments, their friends and at some point um, we don't become distant but we have our things that are going into life so uh, you still end up being on your own which never really happens with pets. They are always 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 there for you um, no matter what. Um, they every single day wait for you at home and that feeling is just absolutely fantastic they have made me definitely better human being because they are the first ones that I actually really have a responsibility to care for just to put it short I never really put I never really had to put anyone in front of my needs even in grown-up relationship with my husband I never had to compromise myself um, and those two were the first ones who taught me that I have to make compromise I can't go from for example I can't go from work somewhere else because I know that they are at home and hungry so um, I cannot enjoy being somewhere else if I know that they are waiting at home um, and I think this feeling of um, dedication and the love that I don't feel bad for missing something out there um, and instead caring for them 
is the biggest gift that they have given to me. Do your kitties fetch? That is a very funny question. I remember how surprised I was when uh, Mia started to fetch the first time. She doesn't do it anymore, but when she was one year old, she really was demanding many, many play times. And even if this is part of our routine and we play with them every single time, no matter what, um, we de dedicate time with them. It is sometimes impossible to play several times a day. And I was working from home back then and it was very difficult to uh, organize my working environment so that I would be available for them 24-7. Um, and it's also difficult to explain them why you can't play with them 24-7 if you are at home. So uh, we found a way that I would throw a crinkle ball and she would bring it. Mia definitely did that uh, for quite a while. But as she grew older, I think her um, urge for many playtime throughout the day has decreased. Uh, so she's very happy with her once a day playtime um, and uh, doesn't fetch anymore, which is a sad thing. But it's very, very funny to see cats fetch the toys. It's some kind of bonding as well. How did you come up with their names? Mm. There was not huge thoughts given to their names. To be very honest, when we decided that we would get two cats, uh, which was also a very smart decision as first-time cat owners, as a couple, um, we sort of agreed that we would be allowed to give um, one cat a name. Um, and because uh, Russian Blues are very aristocratic in their nature and the, the, the way they are built. Uh, J Falco thought that James uh, sounded very like polished and um, very fitting to the way Russian blues look. Um, so he decided to call him that. And as for Mia, um, I, <laughs> I have to admit Back in Georgia, in Zugdidi especially, we did not really give names to the cats. I don't know why. I mean, it sounds so bad probably to you right now, but it's just other culture and um, it was other time as well. I just did not know any other way. You as a child grow up in an environment and whatever you are given and told, that's, that's what your reality becomes. Um, I don't want to say that in Georgia nowadays um, pets are not given names, obviously they are, but that was just my direct surrounding. So they would call cats like some cat sounds, like meow meow, miti miti miti, or stuff like that. Uh, and um, that's what I repeated. So meow was something which was really associated um, to me with cats, but I did not obviously want to call them a cat meow. And Mia somehow was in the direction um, of this familiar sound and that's how I ended up with Mia. So we have James and Mia. Their eyes and facial expressions, did they just walk out of Disney cartoon? <laughs> they are very very funny in their expressions and I have lots of fun uh, picturing them. But I have to say and admit that while I take photos I of course trigger certain uh, emotions on their face by moving wand or some type of toy or treat in front of their face so it's easy for me to catch all those different um, emotions and expressions on their on their face. I know how much people enjoy having their funny expressions on different pictures and it's really memorable for me and very special as well. Thank you for saying that. Do they ever feel like going outside and taking a walk? This is also a question that I often got from my Georgian friends saying, oh, is not it a torture that you are having keeping them inside? I know where this question is coming from and I would think so if I did not know so much um, as I know um, about cats right now. Um, they are not the breed which is used to being outside. So seven ancestors on both lines of those cats have not been outside so their instincts of adjusting to the outdoor environment is not as good as your usual cat outdoors 
um, it would be more dangerous for them to be outside than being indoors and they feel a lot more comfortable being indoors than being outdoors um, we have a balcony where they are allowed to outside we have it uh, secured we bought a um, special fence with which we fenced the entire balcony and we're gonna make sure that in our new house as well we do some sort of solution which makes sure that they cannot run somewhere away because I'm 100% sure they will not be able to find their way back. Also, um, if you look at the statistics of cat deaths, um, car crash uh, is one of on the top together with different uh, diseases. Uh, I would never put my cats to that risk living in a city environment. Um, and cats are very territorial as well. They they love their territory. And if you live in a very very small area, maybe that is not a good living environment for a cat but uh, we have approximately 100 square meter um, in our flat and for two cats that is more than enough to hang, chill, find their own corners um, and especially if they both get along very very well um, they don't need as well that much space apart they often seek one another do the cats scratch furniture and if there is any way to prevent that's a very very good question cats scratch and that is very natural. I want to put here as well a small slide or picture which shows why they do that um, because there's so many good articles or pictures where they try to explain this process. Um, I've had this talk with my par mother so often as well because um, she as well finds it so annoying that cats have this habit um, but it's just natural part of them being a cat, having the claws, um, leaving their marks. Um, they don't do it to anger you or they don't show um, any revenge um, <laughs> with doing that. And please, please, please don't declaw your cats and don't put those horrible caps. I don't even know what they are called, what they do on top of their claws. They need to have access to their nails and feel things and leave marks um, but obviously we don't want them to destroy our furniture <laughs> which is normal as well uh, we call live in the same environment we have to make this living bearable for both sides and it's really not a big problem nowadays um, there are tons of cat scratchers which uh, prevent any damage happening to your furniture if they have an alternative to your furniture they won't come and scratch your furniture the only reason why they come and scratch your furniture is that they don't have anything else where they could sharpen their claws um, and those uh, scratching furnitures and toys are made out of materials often that are satisfying their scratching um, urge a lot better than our furniture ever will um, I have made this experience firsthand. For example, James C was recently uh, starting to enjoy the um, horizontal scratching. That's why he was always reaching for our carpet. We got the Maikoti scratcher, um, which is like a horizontal, has a shape, is quite stable, and we put it on the same spot uh, or next to the spot where he was usually scratching on the carpet. As soon as we put that on there, he started to scratch the scratcher and left the carpet alone. Um, after a few weeks, we moved the scratcher and he again started to scratch the carpet. So they are also victim of being very addicted to their habits. Um, and if they find this place very comfortable to scratch, they will always come there. But they're very stylish uh, scratching furnitures as well, which you can put on those places. And um, the problem is simply solved. We never ever had a problem of um, any our furniture piece being spoiled uh, by cat and we prevented this by putting at least one scratching post in every single room including the corridor but if you are willing to have a cat who loves you and who gives you that much worms then we should make this small sacrifice of providing them good scratching post. So guys, I think this video is already so so long. <laughs> I rambled very very lot. Um, I hope I have enough footage to um, show you while I'm talking in the in the background. Um, I really loved doing this. If there are any more questions that you would love me to, or anything that you're interested in, I would be very happy to answer those as well. Um, I'm glad you came on board. I put a lot of effort into creating these videos. 
um, because I love them most importantly so no pressure <laughs> uh, on anyone else but if, if you love watching and if you come here I will be very very happy if you click the like and subscribe button and stay on board I'm gonna see you in my next one Thank you.